we're on Troops Player with a with a, a, a fast recovering Danny Carlton. Thanks for talking to us today, Dan. Uh, I know if you've got ice on your knee, he'll probably move the camera to have a look down at that now because he always does. I'll have to. Um, how's it going with you? Yeah, it's going well. Obviously, the ice is precaution more than anything. Hard day yesterday with um, finding the physio, um, but yeah, it's going on. It's slow, but hopefully getting there. Uh, we, we were talking uh, live on the radio before the Fleetwood game and they said it's a very, very dangerous time because for you, you think you can do lots and lots of things and lots of movement and yet it's quite a dangerous time for it to actually reoccur, isn't it? Yeah, hopefully we're past that. You yeah. know, that it's, that's a 10, 12 week period yeah. and I think I'm around 14 now, so yeah. we, hopefully we're past that, that problem. Um, but it's still, you know, it's still straight line running and then the twisting, which is the hard bit, comes right at the end and pretty much last minute. Right. And then if that feels right, then you start hopefully start training and get back in the mix of things. So when it, what, what's the time scale for you though? You, it, it, obviously a frustrating time for you, because obviously you're seeing, you're seeing the, the team short on numbers, needing experience and you're thinking, I can run, I can run. But uh, what, you, what are we looking at? Still looking at end of the season? Um, they say six months, which will take me to February, March. That's if everything runs smoothly. Um, but, you know, as it is at the moment, you know, I'll be looking for, hopefully for March and you know, hopefully, you know, make sure it's all right for next year more than anything. Yeah, that's, you know, I, that's don't, I don't want to rush back and no. do it again, and then that's pretty much. Yeah, that would be heartbreaking. Career ending, maybe, it would be know. well. You'd like to say not, but it's got to be heartbreaking. But from your point of view, how it, it, it's got to be frustrating as a professional footballer. I know you're back involved in the day to day, so you've probably done the hardest part. How was that? How was that being not involved? It was tough. It is very tough, you know. But I think. Doing my previous injury, my Achilles, when I was at Beryl, it's kind of I knew what, similar time scale. I knew, you know, what what was have to be done the rehab. I know it's tough, and like I say, you know, you come into the training, you're around the lads, but once they go out to training and you're sat in a physio room or in a gym, it does get boring. You know, it gets lonely. Um, but I think you've got to keep your, your your moral high and keep your keep yourself going really more than anything. You know, you do have your down days, but like anybody, you know, is injured, you always have them days where you think. You know, I can't really be bothered today, but I suppose you've got to get your head down and get yourself fit. So look, looking at now we're in the new year, 2013, um, you can see light at the end of the tunnel, that must be a good feeling. Yeah, I mean, plus I get to spend a bit of time with you know, my, my daughter, which is always good. Um, but yeah, you, you do see, you know, you, you think to yourself, oh, it's, you know, it's two months and you've already done three months, which seems pretty quick, yeah. you know, gone by quickly. So hopefully the two months go as quick as the three months and, you know, hopefully in that time, you know, time period, I'll be back on the pitch then. Well, fingers crossed, and good luck with it. And uh, I hope Farney's not too hard on you, but for the right reasons. But yeah, thanks That's for talking. Farney, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Dan. No worries.